Hi everyone, my name is Jason Matthew. Today I'm going to show you the different GUIs uh, available for each and every model of controller. So right now I have 5520, 5508 and NGWC and Wisdom model here. So uh, when we talk about controller GUI, there are some differences between the old releases and new releases. So when you log into in uh, old controller that is running 8.0 release you are going to get a GUI interface like this but in case of uh, later releases later releases the latest ones you are going to get a, a dashboard that shows your uh, summary information in a different uh, view so here I don't have much clients and APs and everything in this so uh, I don't have the actual data to show here uh, it's not a production network um, uh, WLC. So I'll just go through uh, the available options. First one is network summary. You can see your summary information on um, your network side. You can click on the SSID part and it, it can take it to uh, that particular page. So uh, that is one of the in, uh, good options that you can use it as a monitoring purpose. Then uh, in access point you can uh, you can select the radio type and you can get the AP information based on that then client information you can put your own filters and see the uh, information inside that so um, so here you can uh, sort the uh, you can do the uh, sorting and you can add the uh, items uh, what you want to see here so that you can monitor only those items whatever is required for your day-to-day uh, -day activities so filter you can select any kind of filtering here and that will help you to find out uh, the required information then AP performance there are some certain uh, things that displays here uh, right now I don't have any data so uh, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll explain that later uh, in uh, later videos client performance there are some charts that shows here so you can uh, if you are in a production uh, production network, you will have a lot of data to display. This one is a lab controller, and I don't have much data to display here. And uh, another uh, good option is uh, you have one uh, one tab for uh, best practices. You can go through this list of uh, standard best practices uh, recommended by the uh, engineering team, and you can go through that, and you can make sure you made the changes and you are in uh, align with the best practices from Cisco side <coughs> sorry so um, this is the uh, dashboard uh, for monitoring purposes then uh, once we are done with this part uh, the next thing is how you configure the uh, controller right so you have to click on this advanced and you will go back to the actual uh, the previous model of uh, yeah, monitoring page so here, uh, as you can see, this one is a 5520 uh, controller and we have only two uplinks and uh, the two ports are uh, 10 jig supported ports. It can be connected as a uh, 1 jig port also. So uh, depends on your network uh, uh, backend side, uh, you can choose which, uh, which SFP module you want to use it for this controller. So um, this controller is running on a release of uh, 802.151. So uh, you have all other uh, features that I shown as a dashboard. Then uh, this is the uh, summary page for uh, 5520. <coughs> Everything else is same other than this picture and the uh, the connection ports information and all. Let me go to uh, 5508 that runs uh, 8.0 So uh, here uh, you have all the uh, like same same type of uh, information in the monitor page you don't uh, you don't have the uh, dashboard available for uh, 8.0 uh, release throttle so uh, that is uh, it's not depends on the hardware it's completely depends on the release you are running in background so this is the 5508 uh, it's the same platform but you have the dashboard available with the release of 8.2 uh, 151 so um, so here uh, there is no other difference than the uh, the dashboard is available for 5508 next one i want to show you that uh, this is the uh, 3850 we call it as ngwc so here uh, if you want to do anything on wireless there is a 
wireless web GUI available for this uh, NGWC platform. This is a new generation wireless LAN controller. So um, if you click on the web GUI for wireless, you will get an uh, interface like this. And uh, it's nothing uh, related, uh, like similar to the normal WLC GUI. But you have some uh, some basic uh, basic stuffs in the monitoring page, home page, and uh, you can use available options from GUI to uh, to monitor the uh, controller if you are using that NGWC platform. Next one I want to show you uh, is the Wism. So uh, Wism again, it depends on the code. You will have the um, you will have the uh, dashboard. So I'll go to the advanced and this is the interface that you can get it for uh, you can get it for uh, 55 sorry uh, Wism. So uh, these are the different different uh, GUI GUIs available uh, for uh, Cisco WLC. Hope this will help you to identify the uh, hardware and uh, get started with the summary page of each hardware types. Thank you for watching.